A few days ago, I posted a video on my channel about how to use the OpenAI Images API to create images using OpenAI's Dolly models using R. In that video, I took the approach that you see here on your screen, which is using Reticulate to access the OpenAI Python package. And then we sort of converted that Python code into R code. When I posted that video on my channel, I also shared it on my social media on LinkedIn and on Twitter, and it got a lot of traction. And someone commented on the post on LinkedIn and Mohammed said that the R package OpenAI already covers this functionality with a function called create image. Thank you so much, Mohammed, for pointing this out. It turns out that we actually don't need to use Reticulate to do this because there's already an R wrapper for the OpenAI images API. I'm still gonna leave that old video up because I think there's still value in knowing how to do something more than one way, but I thought I would re-upload and show the much simpler way to do this. So right now we're looking at the old code, which uses Reticulate. So that's about nine lines of code, but the alternative way is to use the OpenAI package from R. If you don't already have that installed, make sure you install that first. And let's just take a quick look at the documentation for the create image function. So here it's got very similar syntax to what we saw when we did this using a Python approach. So the first argument that it's gonna take is the prompt and let's use the same prompt as before. So a white Siamese cat. It also takes the argument N but presumably this time, since it's an R function, we won't have to explicitly cast that value of n to an integer. Hopefully this function just recognizes that this numeric value can be seen as an integer. And then it also takes the size argument and let's use the same value as before. And here, this function is going to look for our open API key using sys.getenv. And if you followed along with my last video where we set the OpenAI API key as a system environment variable, then you should be able to run this code without having to actually specify your OpenAI API key. So let's just confirm that that's the case. For me, this works because I had already set that API key in the last video, but let's say that you hadn't already set that, then there's two options. So the first option is to do sys.setenv. And if we look at the documentation for that function, we need to pass it as a named list. So here we want to set OpenAI API key. And then here is where you would actually paste your key. And then from there, when you run the create image function, you don't have to manually set the value of this argument because the default value will look for that environment variable that you just defined using sys.setenv. Alternatively, you can also define it inside of the function call itself. And this is where you would paste your API key. If you don't already have an OpenAI API key, you can just search on Google for the OpenAI API, and then you can either log in if you have an existing OpenAI account or you can sign up for a new account. When you log in, go to API and then click your name at the top right corner and go to view API keys. From there, you can create a new secret key, give it a name, create the key, and then copy it to your clipboard. Just like in the last video, using the create image function from the OpenAI package in R is still gonna cost you money. You can find the cost on the OpenAI pricing page under image models, and the price of the image that you generate is going to depend on the resolution that you request. Generating the image in this video costs two cents. And very similar to before, if we want to actually extract the image, we need to access the data element of the response list and then access the URL from there. And if we run that, we get a really long URL pasted into the console. And to view that image, we just go to that URL and from there, you can download the image. The URL will only be valid for one hour, so make sure to download it while you can. Overall, the syntax is very similar, and we're able to save ourselves a couple of lines of code 
by using the OpenAI R package directly. In my last video, I talked about how there are other things that you can use the images API for, including editing an existing image and creating variations based on the same text prompt. The OpenAI R package also has wrappers for doing those two things via the create image edit and the create image variation functions. Thanks so much for watching today's video and the video from the other day if you watched that as well. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel so that I can keep making more videos.